Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create these tool system where you can for example chop down this tree. Great, so let's go. First of all we need an animation when we actually click on the left mouse button. For this we will use this idle animation as well as the hit animation as you can see link is in the description. So let's go to our third person character, create a variable that called do hit. This will be a boolean, compile and save this. Let's open up our third person animation blueprint and we have to do this here as well. So the event graph, again, do hit as a variable. We want to set it right here. We get our do hit boolean from the third person character so we cast to the third person character as you can see try get pawn owner like this and then we just connect the set here compile and save this let's open up the animation graph where we have our default state machine let's create a new one add new state machine and we can rename this to tool for example let's open this up and we need, of course, a state. This will be the idle state. Open this up as well. We take out these idle run here, connect it, of course, with a speed. And this will be our idle. Let's go back to the tool here. From here, we want another state called hit. And of course we need to go back, open up the hit, and this will be our attack left release, like this one. Then of course we need the condition, that's just the do hit, when we go from the idle to hit. And back from the hit to idle, of course we take out the boolean and say not boolean like that. Great, we are done here. So we go back to the animation graph. We have both of these state machines. Inside the skeleton we just want to animate the right arm here. So this one. So we copy and paste the bone name. We go from the default state machine and say layered blend per bone. Connect of course the second blend here and this will be one. We hit the plus here. And when we take this out, we have to fill in the bone name like this. And we hit this both here to true. When we compile and save this, you can see he has the pose. Next, we need a tool that we can place in our character's hand. For this, we need a blueprint actor. Right click, blueprint class actor. And let's call this tool underscore class. Open this up. And this gets a component as a static mesh. For this, I prepared this X here. It's just a static mesh, as you can see, and we need two sockets. So let's create one down here. The first one will be start. Let's place this right here. And the second one is, of course, the end. And we place this right here. So this will be the event when we hit something. So we can save this. Let's see where it is. There it is. We select this. Go to our tool class, add component, you can see static mesh and this is already our DX here. Pull it up here and we call this tool. Let's go to the event graph because we need some functions here. We can delete the rest and the first one will be in custom event called slash. We get our player character, we cast to the third person character in my case. We want to set the do hit boolean of course to true. Then we need to set timer by event. Let's set this to 0.1 and we check the looping to true. We go from the event and say add custom event and call this trace hit. We take out our tool, we say get socket location, 
this of course is start copy and paste this down here like that and this will be of course end from the trace hit we say line trace by channel of course this is start this is end then we go from the out hit and say break hit result. As you can see, we can get many informations when we hit something. Of course, let's make a branch to check if we really hit something. On true, we say do once like that. Up here, we need a little delay. And this will be the time that the animation will remaining in my case, it is 0 0.6. Then again, we want to set the do hit of the third person character back to false. Then we go from the return value here and say clear this event here. And when we want to clear it, we go back to the reset of the do once. Compile and save this. So this will recognize our event. Let's open up the details of our static mesh and be sure that we set everything to false like this one, so no collision. Compile and save this. Let's go to our third person character and we need to add up a child actor, in my case to the hand, like this one. Let's call this tool as well. Open up the details and of course we select our tool class under child actor class. And be sure that the parent socket is, in this case, the right hand, as you can see. And you can move around this so it fits in the hand. Great. So let me go to the event graph. And for example, let's say on the left mouse button, we want to hit something. So we take out the tool, get the child actor. Then we cast to our tool class like that and then we just call our slash function the next part is this tree here as you can see it's just a blueprint actor that i prepared let's open this up it has one static mesh and a custom event called hit that plays the chop sound for this let's go back to our tool class we have our hit event here so we go from the hit actor want to cast to the tree and then we just call our hit function. And that's it. Compile and save this. When we hit play, we can walk around, we can hit. And when we walk next to the tree, you can hear the hit sound. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.